subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Today I will teach you about what is electrical safety. What is explosive atmosphere? An explosive atmosphere means a mixture with air, under atmospheric conditions, of flammable substances in the form of gases, vapors, mists or dust in which, after ignition has occurred, combustion spread to the entire mixture. What is flammable atmosphere? A flammable atmosphere is defined as having sufficient concentration of flammable gas, vapor, mist or combustible dust in air under atmospheric conditions capable of being ignited. Management Responsibilities What is Management Responsibilities? KNPC Management has the responsibility to implement this document on safe work practices on electrical safety. What are the electrical safety improvement process? 1. Developing, documenting, and issuing site electrical safety procedures and practices. 2. Providing training on safe electrical work practices appropriate for job responsibilities for all site personnel. 3. Developing and implementing improvement plans utilizing incident investigation and reporting system based on both on-site and off-site electrical incident findings and recommendations. 4. Identifying and promoting electrical facility improvement opportunities through the use of inherently safer electrical technology as specified by KNPC standards, shell design engineering practices. 5. Conducting safety performance audits and work permit audits for compliance with site electrical safety procedures and practices, analyzing audit results and preparing reports for the management, acknowledging strengths, and recommending upgrades and corrective actions. 6. Providing site coordination for electrical safety, particularly where different crafts are involved. 7. Networking with other sites as appropriate via Internet, Internet, Outlook Mail, correspondences with other parties, consultants, refineries, contractors etc. What is electrical shock injury? An injury that results from electrical, thermal, acoustic, or radiation energy released at the moment of an incident. What is Residual Current Device, RCT, or Earth Leakage Circuit Breaker, ELC? An electrical safety device used to protect people from electric shock, injuries by sensing the leakage of currents to ground, and de-energizing the circuit to prevent the injury. What is Working Near Energized Electrical Equipment? Any activity involving crossing, or working inside the shock hazard limited approach boundary, and or crossing or working within the flash hazard boundary established by hazard analysis. What is working on energized electrical equipment? Any activity involving crossing or working inside the shock hazard prohibited approach boundary, or coming into contact with exposed, energized electrical conductors, or circuit parts with any part of the body or with tools, probes, or test equipment, regardless of the personal protective equipment a person is using. What is limited approach boundary? This is a boundary that must be crossed only by competent, authorized persons, or by incompetent persons escorted and supervised by a competent, authorized person. What is restricted approach boundary? Only competent, authorized persons, who must use shock protection techniques and equipment, will cross this boundary. What is prohibited approach boundary? This boundary will be crossed only by competent, authorized persons who must use the same protection, procedures and techniques of shock protection as when direct contact is made with a live part. What is multi-lock system? Multi-lock system is used to prevent injuries that may occur when an equipment is accidentally energized while it's being worked on by different crafts. What is responsibilities of the standby person for electrical power isolation? 1. Being aware of the hazards involved in the task. 2. Being competent, authorized to switch off the power to the equipment being worked on. Point 3. Being able to initiate safe rescue. 4 being able to initiate the alarm point 5, being trained in the administration of appropriate first aid, for example, cardiopulmonary resuscitation or treatment of burns, where there is recognized risk of electric shock and burns. 
6. Preventing personnel from removing covers not in the job plan or crossing the safe work boundary. 7. Preventing personnel not involved in the task from crossing the safe work boundary. Point 8. Being totally committed and able to perform any of the above duties without interference. What is electrical isolation? Electrical isolation may be required before starting work on or near electrical equipment to avoid electric shock and other hazards. The extent of isolation required will depend on the nature of work. Requirement of isolation and extent of isolation shall be jointly decided by the issuing authority and executing authority. Refer to safe work practices on work permit system and risk assessment and safety rules for the work on electrical power system. What is tag out? The use of danger do not offer tag, see Appendix B, with isolation by local switch shall be limited to minor electrical work carried out by electrical and AC maintenance. On the following equipment, 1. Lighting circuits. 2. Equipment installed in laboratories. 3. Equipment installed in offices. 4. Tag out to be used only when isolation switch is invisible range of the person working on electrical equipment. 5. Cleaning of HVAC system. What is no voltage testing? 1. Unexpected energization from failure of equipment insulation or isolation. 2. Equipment or circuit labeling errors. 3. Wiring errors. 4. Drawing or other documentation errors. Point 5. Unintentional breaching of the safe working zone during plant work activity. Point 6. Errors in equipment identification due to physical orientation, symmetry, or similar appearance resulting in incorrect isolation. 7. Unauthorized re-energization or other failure of the lockout procedure. Point 8. Stored electrical energy for example capacitors or capacitance effect of cables. 9. Back feeds from other fixed or temporary supplies such as UPSs, generators and OTS etc. What are the personnel performing no voltage tests? 1. Selection and use of testing instruments. 2. Removal of obsolete instruments from service. 3. Convergence on the making model of test instruments to simplify training and qualification requirements. 4. Compliance of test instruments with current local industry and national standards for mechanical integrity, over-voltage protection and user safety. 5. Availability of test instruments before removing covers, guards or barriers. 6. Availability of voltage sensing devices at the point of use of test instruments. 7. Ensuring that no body part shall pass the plane of enclosure openings before the test instrument. 8. Whenever possible, single function instruments should be used to reduce the risk of misreading due to scaling, ranging or other errors that can occur with multimeters as far as possible. What is the procedure excavation slash penetrations? It is to be ensured that the electrical lines, conduits, and cables in the area of work activity are identified before performing excavations, concrete floor penetrations, and wall penetrations using cable detection etc. The job shall be carried out by competent person. Excavation authorization procedures shall be followed as defined in work permit system. What is cranes and mobile equipment procedure? No specific procedure is required, since there are no overhead electric lines passing in the premises of refineries. However the employees should ensure that crane, mobile equipments do not come close to electrified security fence etc. What is power distribution switching procedures? 1. Routine switching of feeders and equipment. 2. Control of temporary safety grounds, earths. 3. Control of excavating equipment near underground lines and aerial equipment near overhead lines. 4. Switching sequence to minimize the risk of being exposed to arc flash hazards. 5. Techniques to effectively identify and communicate safe work zones and switch gear. 6. Training, renewal, and succession planning for key job functions. Point 7. System studies updates, for example, arc flash hazard analysis, protection coordination, and others deemed appropriate by each site. What is the management of electrical hazards? I. Faulty or damaged wiring or equipment. 2. Loose connections. 
3. Use of underrated wiring or poor quality fittings. 5. Lack of earthing, grounding, bonding v. Lack of protective safety devices. 6. Use of overrated fuses or jumpers. 7. Working on live equipment. 8. Water seepage or handling with wet body parts. 9. Poor housekeeping. X. Handling of electrical equipment by incompetent person, lack of awareness and training. 11. Lack of safe working procedures and poor communication. 12. Failure to use appropriate PPE and tools. 13. Lack of warning signs. 14. Lack of proper identification. What is shuck hazard? Proper design, installation, and maintenance of equipment grounding, earthings and bonding are critical to managing shock hazards. Mandatory requirements for managing the mechanical integrity of grounding, earthings and bonding. Temporary electrical connection procedure shall be followed accordingly. As a minimum, all portable tools and appliances, temporary wirings and extension cords operating at a voltage greater than 24 V and are subjected to rough service and or are routinely plugged and unplugged to an earth electrical power system must be protected by permanent or portable RCDS or ELCBs. These devices must have a 30 mA maximum current setting. How to minimize risk of shock hazard? 1. Battery powered tools. Point 2. Reduced voltage equipment. Point 3. Double insulated equipment. Point 4. Shrouding and barriers. 5. Insulated or voltage rated tools. Point 6. Voltage rated personal protective equipment. For example, gloves or hats. 7. Insulated mats on floors. Point 8. Insulated. Flexible barriers for exposed equipment parts. What is the procedures to manage shock hazard exposure? 1. Identification of multiple voltage sources inside cabinets. Point 2. Segregated voltages to prevent accidental contact where multiple voltage sources exist in one unit. 3. Barriers. Point 4. Insulated, voltage rated tools to minimize the hazards of accidental contact. Point 5. Labeled back feeds, temporary feeds and dual feeds. Point 6. Identification of the use of common or borrowed neutrals. What is static electricity hazard? Where applicable, concerned departments slash divisions shall ensure to have procedures and practices to assess and manage static electricity hazards, including lightning. Lightning protection is primarily concerned with protection against the hazards of fire and explosion of flammable materials, as well as electrical equipments, Caused by lightning static discharges can be an ignition source, and injuries may result from a person reacting to a static shock. Examples of process operations that may have static electricity hazards include but may not be limited to handling or transporting liquids, solids, or gases in portable containers or piping systems. Certain maintenance activities. For example, steam cleaning, industrial vacuuming, and sandblasting can produce static electricity hazards. Guidance on the control of static can be obtained from BS 5958 Code of Practice for Control of Undesirable Static Electricity. Static electricity hazard can be reduced by minimizing the accumulation of charges and draining earthing. I. Bonding and earthing between source and receiver of the product handling system, pipelines, distribution system, spray painting and sound blasting. 2. Minimizing the use of non-conductive materials. In the case where certain processes require the use of non-conductive materials, for example hoses, containers, conveyors, antistatic materials shall be used, for example antistatic rubber belts, steel braided hoses. 3. Use of antistatic PPE. 5. Bonding of pneumatic tools and air removers, blower. V. Control of flow rate of static prone materials. 6. Use of anti static additive in jet fuels. 7. Avoiding splash filling in tanks. 8. Avoiding water contamination of hydrocarbons. How to minimize the risk of explosion hazard? 1. 
provision and maintenance of drawings and documents describing the limits of the hazardous area and its classification. 2. Selection and procurement of electrical equipment appropriate for the area classification. 3. Installation of electrical equipment so that it does not compromise the area classification. 4. Maintenance of the mechanical integrity of the installation, including grounding and bonding, wall penetrations for cabling and electrical control rooms. 5. Methods to exclude other potential ignition sources from entering the area. 6. Maintenance of the mechanical integrity and calibration of explosion meters. 7. Control and maintenance of safety interlocks. What is training and performance? 1. Recognition and management of electrical hazards they may be exposed to in their jobs. 2. Understanding and using electrical safety procedures and practices. 3. In addition, refresher training to keep knowledge and skills valid and up to date must be offered at appropriate intervals and must be documented. 4. First aid training for electrical personnel is not required since 24 hours coverage is available by medical crew. What is emergency planning and response? 1. Providing CPR training to first responders and personnel in high-risk exposure to electric shock. 2. Conducting mock drills of electrical injury emergencies. 3. Marking energy isolation points and developing emergency switching plans. 4. Train appointed people to cry at emergency isolations. 5. Having emergency equipment including communications equipment, available and accessible. 6. Having procedures established for securing the scene of an electrical incident. The procedure should address the safety of people in the area as well as the preservation of evidence for the investigation. 7. Having procedures and training on the appropriate use of personal protective equipment. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.